Hello everyone, this is Sportimus here, and today we'll be looking at the Transformers Animated Voyager Class Bulkhead. And here we have the Voyager Class Animated Bulkhead. He is a futuristic military personnel carrier. Nothing really all that extraordinary. That's really about it. It's got six wheels and he rolls. Um, he's got a big gaping indentation here, which would have been nice if they would have had some sort of covering or something to keep that nice and flat so we have a nice flat roof. So that's a big minus there. They were able to correct that with the leader class, but that's still something that they could have done with the Voyager class as well. They just, they just did not put enough effort into this uh, alt mode. And it shows all over the place, especially on the sirens here. They're not even uh, clear translucent plastic. They're painted on red sirens that they didn't even bother painting on the sides here. So it's not even a, a, a plausible light bar, in my opinion. Uh, there are a lot of left out paint apps, such as the windows here and here. So it's, it's mediocre at best. He's got some nice paint application here like a yellowish bronze color. He's got uh, headlights there and a ridiculously narrow windshield. Uh, in comparison, I'll uh, throw in Deluxe Jazz here. And in relation to it, it's not that bad. It's actually a pretty close um, scale there throw an animated deluxe bumblebee in and it starts to pale a little bit in comparison simply because deluxe bumblebee is just abnormally large. That can be easily remedied with a activator's bumblebee. So, but other than that, his size is okay, although he is kind of small for a Voyager class figure. He really is. That said, you can even tell how small he is even when he is first unwrapped from his box. He really doesn't take up that much room at all. On to his transformation, which really isn't that bad on this fellow. I, admittedly, to me, he's very bland in his alt mode, but his transformation really isn't too bad. I, I kind of like it. Basically, just pull this down. It's very cartoon accurate in terms of um, what panels move and such, especially this part right here with his arms and this back portion here. Um, actually, just, just make that the whole transformation is very cartoon accurate. I, I like it. I like the way they did that. It, they, ex unlike Bumblebee, it, it came out for his benefit. And uh, they lock in place, the shoulders lock in place to the sides. Um, looks really weird at this point, doesn't he? Um, you can still roll, so you can come at you grabbing, which is insanely odd. Anyway, his uh, feet are underneath here, and this is where I really have a huge gripe on this guy. I, they did a great job executing him in terms of creating the look that he has in the cartoon show, cartoon show but it also hurts him at the same time in his robot form. because he is supposed to be a very massive character. You're basically going to push this front portion this way and when that happens the top of this panel is going to flip over revealing his head. So as you can see, boom, and it kind of locks into place. You have his head now. You basically going to lift this up and lock it together. Keep these to the side. You're going to bend that one click out, bend it down, one click out, bend it down. Just position the arms to your liking, and they will pop out from the sides every now and then, especially when the toy is new. It's got very tight joints. And there you have basically a finished bulkhead. Posability on this guy is very good. Decent, but essentially useless and pointless, in my point of view. 
Um, his legs do move forward that far. Bends at the knee very well, but that's only due to his transformation. Uh, goes back farther than it goes forward. Bends his knee, but you really can't, you know, do much with it. He does pivot 360 degrees at the knee. His arms, because of the pegs, they, they, it's better than movie brawl, but they still pop out for me. So if you want to pull his arms around, you're going to have to hold that in place in order to m move it. But he does have a wide range of movement on his arms. They can rotate at the wrist. What am I saying? At the elbow, excuse me. They can also rotate at the shoulder and bend at the elbow, but not very far. Not really enthusiastic about this figure. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I try to be as truthful as I can about these uh, reviews and such. Um, I did buy him in the hopes that he wouldn't be as bad as I feared. One more thing I'd like to point out is his head is really Neanderthal looking. He's got a very large uh, underbite there. So it reminds me of Trap Jaw from the old He-Man cartoon series. It doesn't help in uh, making him look any more intelligent though. So he's supposed to be humongous and large and imposing and all that. And then uh, you get this and Black Arachnia is taller than he is in terms of uh, her head, not counting these things that hang over him. He really is a deluxe class figure, and the leader class really is a Voyager class. That's basically what you're getting. In terms of features, he has two of them in his robot mode. Um, he has this black peg thing that's sticking right out there and well these these do open up wow. and um, you push down this thing here and he'll give you a, a good beating can you even knock someone down with that? let's bring up the what seems to be uh, Animated's favorite whipping boy, Optimus Prime. Mm. Bulkhead's going to give him the beating of his life here. That showed him. Oh, that missed entirely. Oh yeah, that's uh, very exciting. I think Prime is laughing his ass off right now. As you can see, Prime is an average size Voyager class figure and he towers over Bulkhead like nobody's business. As does, obviously, Starscream. His other feature, you pull this little tab out and you pull it forward and he will fire his wrecking ball of doom at you. Okay, that was just sad. Starscream is going to get the beating of his of his life here. And I have to pick him up just to beat him with it. I mean... Yeah. I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Not impressed with him. Uh, he isn't a bad figure. I mean, all the joints work. I mean, everything is ratcheted nicely where it needs to be ratcheted, such as his shoulders and... Uh, his legs especially has a nice ratchety feel to him, which I like, and he does have good amount of articulation on him. It's too bad it's not very uh, effective given his extremely stubby legs and this annoying ball. His arms have pretty good articulation. Um, he has no fingers to really, really speak of. He has these claw things. So you can't really make him hold anything that I well, at least I haven't been able to. Um, so, 
So, he's not cheaply made either. He, he's pretty decent quality. I'd like to see more paint applications on him, but really a, a mediocre figure. I don't really recommend him unless you really like Bulkhead in the cartoon series. And uh, he does have some very good redeeming qualities as a character in the cartoon. And uh, I think that's what saves him mostly is is the is the way he is in the cartoon series. He's a very powerful Autobot though. He's he can do a lot of damage. Uh, it doesn't look like it in in toy form, but he's someone you don't want to mess with if you tick him off. Um, and he's very accident prone, so he's good at wrecking stuff. The toy fails to really capture his massiveness, and the toy also fails in really providing features that aren't even remotely impressive. Aesthetically he looks good. By himself he looks alright. If you like cute robots, uh, he's definitely your boy. But otherwise, if you don't really care for the character, then don't even bother. I, I kind of like that Bumblebee and him are sort of a, a team partner. And that's one of the reasons that I got this figure was because of that in the cartoon series. But I didn't want to spend the 40 bucks for a leader bulkhead. I really don't think it's worth it unless size, scale is something you, you're you really concerned about. The vehicle mode is, is not too bad uh, because of the lack of paint apps. He gets um, a 7 out of 10. He's really nothing special. He doesn't even have anything that pops out like guns or missiles or anything. Transformation is where he shines. He's got a pretty nice transformation and uh, I'll give that a solid 8 out of 10. It's, it's not bad. I have nothing to complain about. Everything works the way it's supposed to and it's a little more involved than say a Voyager Starscream. Robot mode, he gets a 5. These, sh these stubby legs really hurt him. He could have been a lot taller and a lot more interesting if they gave him just a little bit longer legs. Even though it sacrifices the look that they were going for in terms of trying to be more like the uh, cartoon counterparts. This is Voyager Animated Bulkhead. This is Sportimus saying thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.